tossi in scale show na milche bleno hin. Show ach vestera lande vetes. Scale to on fine dini a war a hug gra og za fur boas a guiga ola analog. An fedger gwem allow er an hu a wari ku holen nor a furshe a anyam. Sho skeel fui han vishjeri agus technoliach de ure. Ta anum den egen a stehens in red sho. Fui chemen a mora a rai a chrohi uren a nua a fad. Ach a skeel e fui chrevshe nach ro omre er bi er skrivnerot ogus nach fejere ancient a hawain tri enesha walo nia arsa tashke a osklin and doras er goon a ligwen yarmut Je vile bleno hen kuru kar in ginwinch na chire na rahanik an talwi ocht geheren hog na ged ermorishen is stach schilte biostok kredwure agus schli ur nua warachtala Hart van jou wil ik alleen blijen rev aan mijn Christ. Kun ik haar elle een genuins voorbeeld goeie alle? Nu er hanen ik technologie nu een stijl in Europa, hanen ik Jero lesen klok is. Nu er hanen ik middel nu een driehoekdoel rensel, hanen ik nasken een internationale tradale les. Is er woord in de Europa a hosian revloge technologie? Nu er ook nulige stijn le kapper, kan een jano niet eens leidere. Groei is het kreeuwen, een middel, a hoor het aanjem dan rei er vaad. Zet die een middel oorschouw oorzicht, kan eerlijk zijn geren effect de jano. Og is glissen het trode eentige a groeho, a moudini a santo, a lehes de eerlijke nog wakkers Rio River. Hug een technologie nieuwe show in ebru metal, rei orga de hijvers, og is de jardie op de danach er een zeil. Le krei uwe e jano, de kapper og is steinig taster. Ook als we een kapper gefloer schakeneren. Kan je een trader als een kapper de nasken en lessen Europa leiden? Ook als hanik nulie de technologie de arash er naar Bali trader de kennisen. Ja, nou in zijn jolles voor een technologie door in de bruin metal. An tochi an seo a aachru agus a wunlu. A cae hog an choolas uur is jago cuig aola. So laachri an na poti seo duin leid war hawachtach. Hanigis er hahi chlog chruwacha er leich awalen kan sio, a siwan a dwyshgurt na heren. Mar a fwyrus a makas awal, a siwan a ele a nirhyr agus a lar na chiorapa. Se an teis askara a hogan siandalihe er na dini a rin agus a dwysig na sahi sio. Ta sogin gyr o'n Europa hanig sid. Bedjer gyr tradeli ha saifra a fiante, a fi ag deil eil ar ari cyfiach a sochish. 
Ach, as only a task on you, go mealshed a deal out of Hecknolia Knoa, or water of Aramra, Agus Ari Mittel. Agus Master, Grabentius Askra, a Hogus Jacko Heron, the Nuli has shot in Ibru Mittel. A good year all on lay in you is Tawak the Femer of Biostock, Nan Hurriot. Agus is a Hreuish, a logo she is prevaca and tradition. Be in the kid, Ermori, a log culture ola, then the goods body ass. Octag Yavila blame the Halwiot, a shell or in Talo. The rare Maraji Gradio in Kire, Oxmara Lachni and Kirn Ogs and Monchach, Harantalo, a view and usage tra on Granacha as, be Achruig Chachter and Talwiot. Is her Allah in Archbari, a vi and Gelliger, a guiga ola eg bra, Sachreuish Lua. Vi and Sochi eg Achru. And a canary hon tossi, a win usage as fuil muino o halweot, hon ari mittel sochish akyanach. A she a stochi, grabauli and scale and shaw, a glissiachi a gundiard wacha. Dun crick on hrewish yenach, a togo, a xavian usage, carol a tree vila blemahin. We are not only going to show a cousin to train the sunny image of his jigger dawn. Hard simple or he. And later, we are going to be a better. And we are going to be a hoko da kor. And we are going to be a grow cousin to our faith wherein show. Irsma, the Hyundan of Kuriba Halma, the Roeg Lissiahi. Ku more Ola. Tablesk and Husha are Hyundan a kinba woe, the words a real, Savratan no in Yeren. Baladina are the games a tohi, and Tanvi more sha. Because near white lumps of the door out of Gallam Shindiv. Curran and Ku more sha in Newell. Come out the finish of all the fights in the Shandalia. Gurloniot Hiver of the Elysiahi. Gak shants Gurlaher Riga of the Yon. Ogs a Santus a grow metal lower a Akunsha. Dov should a via Rohi a tail. Batri Ari Sochish, Janta de Hreua, Ogs de Or. A hershey the moon, or as a game to sail in Newell. Tan the hears me on the sugging land the hashke intach. A hugging finish a ray orga the moon or as the ra so trev sherev starwa. A mask no show the baile we should show. Lonely or Runjiwer. Is on an antanyam Luan la agus galach veg. Near modern olas aginja fui ne red the galanta sha. Near hanikas or her rio mar chod de enu hu shandaliachta. Is the hashma a hanikshid chansolish. Makali ato anta. O am at the image as kivne. Ach taso gany go kintje gur o an chre wish lua a hanik na shod a lochal yach a sho. Marian lech na luanli fures ta hashme sho a gondi fermana ta kore ve pont gle mahan. The Oron, ach nur a crow away, the Kosslach della er father.
Vioshe Kirkloch, in the he heart or in Winyal, no one him, Agus Kangal Chilishna, class be Trommasho. Could you more curl if we Holloway, no Katege? Bedger Gur Santa Sache, Gurtogo Kruh eggs will do, Solan Yarnoshan. Bedger Gur Korhe, Groshagol O won the Mio, Gudji do an Ella, Mar Offrailt on the Jehia. Nail a suck. Kaihu e mar hod glas, agus lerin an red alin sho, an doyer darbar kerdilt erinach le linna kreuishe. Agus a mask na sampli is bra dawalogin de skill duchasach na erin, ta kirin grim na beest, a furis an arda wali money a gond the intrama, ta kund na kirin er tashpinchin sho. Sin Irsmal and Nashunta and Walia Clea. The horn was modelled on uh, a cow's horn and deliberately so because uh, the bull was a cult animal in ancient Ireland. And of course, one of the great tales that's associated, especially with, with, with the north of Ireland, um, the, the, the cattle raid of Cooley, Tombow Coolina, centres on uh, the brown bull of Cooley and the white bull of Connacht. So, and these are magical bulls. The metal workers who actually made this horn, how good were they? They were of the very, very highest order. Um, these objects have been replicated uh, in modern times by metalsmiths and they have found them extremely challenging. The metalsmiths who made these objects were absolutely uh, among the best uh, bronze casters of their time and indeed of any time. First of all, in terms of uh, the technical difficulties in making this object, there are considerable problems to be overcome. You have to align a central clay core and two outside clay moulds. They have to be positioned exactly right. The temperature of the, of the mould has to be kept at a certain standard during the pouring. There's a hundred things can go wrong. So these smiths knew exactly what they were at. How valuable an object is this? I think these objects, um, in terms of their, the technical mastery that they display, um, and, and indeed the, their artistic merits, really places them at the very, very forefront of the later Bronze Age in Ireland. They, they are true masterpieces. Vi ko wargo idar nashunta awono erin chreuwa, agus vi jeshina sol luishakta agus tradala a groho trast in the Europa. The hera ve shin vi ere ik chacht in effect or skill idar nashunta aru agiri go galish. We have to think of the late Bronze Age as a very, very international period. The higher echelons of society uh, across Europe or across much of Europe uh, seem to have been in close contact. August ha kruhunas jiroch don naske der in Europe agus kuigia olla na kreuische le fekals na reda sho. Warfare on the one hand, feasting uh, on the other, uh, both of these important, significant pursuits of the higher echelons of late Bronze Age uh, society. Tell me about these objects and why they're of particular significance. 
The main significance of this find is the combination of a locally manufactured sword with an imported bronze bowl uh, or bronze cup um, of a type that was uh, quite common in Central Europe. Having this uh, imported uh, metal vessel, metal drinking cup, uh, which clearly is not an everyday item but a piece of feasting equipment um, here in Northern Ireland, that is something really significant. So the bowl is European and the sword is of Irish design. Ireland uh, received a lot of uh, ideas from the rest of Europe, which were taken up uh, and used to manufacture objects with a specifically Irish twist to them, like this sword. The basic design idea, though, that is very much pan-European, first introduced in, in Central Europe uh, a couple of centuries before this particular piece was manufactured, so in a way this is uh, an Irish variation on uh, a pan-European theme. Share the task now read the Arsa Shaw, na ears me fear special the sky at my gashkiach. Ogus go kinche vio amor doi igna lechrishin. Ogus koshery, ogus kivlinch, bar glu chodz dun sailaku. Boris then a fair auger, sa sign at my gashkiach via chaton kin, a ahinch, linen arm mashi higa halyanta. Skil kinche go chachta laharunta. Furus and Rasser, Agus Irsmi Ella da Lehage, Marcod de Olacu, Dona Shandali, Jetted Najas Graha, a winning La Bas, Codulin Ibru Machmar, a Warnadini, Satrev Sherev Starwell. The rare Maralan and Hrewi Sherai, Hossi Dini or Eri Asna Megalici Mora Cloya Hogal, a Hassi Gohard Canasach, a Jira Huiga Ola, Satrev Shenyel Lichach. Don Hed Ur Rio, Hanak Shandali her inish at the Oloko Dini Ener, Kerp a Kuruadalo in a Nomalanya. And so in Olsko Nereena, tan Dr. Eileen Murphy in a sanually or handaliacht olaka. Nor a hagan dini or chrau irsmi mar chod de hochel shandaliachta, isha a chur in the crawi or ashli chiele, agus a hossian or profile veholiach a chroho. La harje, kinna, ish, agus inchkine a hos. Eileen, I'm conscious of the fact I'm looking here at an individual whose life experience was very, very different from my life experience. What do we know about him? Well, we know we've got an adult male. He's about 4,000 years old, so he dates to about 2000 BC, which is the early Bronze Age. And he comes from Rathlin Island, so it's a part of the island um, called Church Bay, which is where most of the modern islanders would still live today. So he would have been about 5 foot 11 in height, and he'd have been fairly imposing person and he's, you know, he's quite well built, his bones are quite robust. So he's about 40 to 60 years of age. So a big, sturdy, you know, elderly man. His teeth, I mean, last time I saw my teeth, they weren't in as good a state as that and he's comparable in age to me. 
teeth are another way that we can tell the age of a skeleton and just from looking at his teeth they would suggest he's in his 20s but the more reliable indicators in his bones definitely tell us he was an older man. He probably had quite an active life because he had bits of arthritis on his spine and he also had some arthritis around his shoulder joint. So you can see the little bits of bone growth, the little lips oh, yes, I see. around there. I suppose the most obvious injury that he had was down in his ankle. Okay, so you can see in this bone it's quite depressed and sort of uneven in mm -hmm. appearance. And then if I show you the opposite bone, oh, it's, quite, it's, it's quite clear when you see them like that. When you see them together. Yeah. So um, this is the bit, this is the back of your foot, you know, mm -hmm. your heel. So we think he must have had some sort of soft tissue injury, you know, maybe to his Achilles tendon at some stage during his life. When he was found, was he laid out like this? No, he was buried in what's called a kist, a very typical funerary monument for that time. So it's basically like a stone box with a big lid on top of it. You can imagine he had to be sort of quite squeezed inside the box and, and in a crouched position with his um, legs drawn up towards his chest and his arms up towards his chest. And then they would have put this pot in beside him at his head. So this would have been like a funerary gift that was put into the kist with him. There are fingernail marks here and I can... Good Lord, I can actually put my fingernail into the fingernail marks of somebody who did that 4,000 years ago. It's wonderful. Just looking at their funerary context and, and the associated grave goods, you can almost, you can empathise with the people in the past and you can imagine they were part of a community and you can sort of imagine that people looked after them and there was a degree of care and support in their life because you know, he was laid out carefully in a particular position and then they gave him a grave good, a gift you know, for, the, for the afterlife. He was part of a community, maybe he was a father, a brother, um, maybe he had children. It's only natural to empathise and to sort of imagine and wonder you know, what, li what life would have been like for this person 4,000 years ago. There are Ach sacralche a fion, mar an yarnu iborchi jas gracha, le doras a oskal don doanella bejer. Hanik is er lien moor krau and shaw, ni brock be a lofa a fion a kahwar huel gafanach, ach afrail jas de grach a fion, ba muk kera. Fiarua, Madu, Agus Dinna Diana, Gach Kionaka, Kurha de Interis, Sa Fall Runji Warsha. Kavis Najaskra has Sifula, Ufa Sahafu, a Harlan Shaw. You have to remember that in, in the Bronze Age, uh, rituals were very important. Uh, people wanted to make sure that the crops would grow to prevent evil, to bring good luck. And perhaps what we can imagine is that the chieftain or leaders at Hockeysford, perhaps under pressure from the local population, uh, were forced into making a series of ritual sacrifices. And what we imagine might have happened is that on occasions, sacrifices and offerings were placed into watery pools. And on occasions, they might have even been human sacrifice.
Hokulat and Treva Haulu, Eid Bolya Hart Chimple and Full Sacrulture, Le Jasgra og a Sharmanish Vishjera Hakyalaru, Nach will Ian Tishkin dug in your new Heramari, Agus and Farog Shaw, Marglu Hodgdon Ebert Runji were. Le Gia Fich were a hassle. Uh, this is the skull of the young man who was found at the king's stables. How old is he? Uh, he would have lived in Armagh uh, sometime around 3,000 years ago. And if we look at this skull, what does it tell us about the way he died? Well, one of the most obvious things when you look at the skull is that it's not intact. In fact, most of the back of the head seemed to have been removed. I suppose there is a slight chance that this happened accidentally. But there is a, an alternative explanation that this was a deliberate cut mark, uh, perhaps made by a Bronze Age sword. And I'd be pretty certain that a sword or an axe would have had the power to cleave off part of the skull. I think we're looking at a human sacrifice. Ni fejerling a hoos kje harla do no katege. If we are not able to do this, we will not be able to do this. We this. We will not be Rish agus a rish ella, chorchi metal lower at the interest, is chach and lohana, porti agus evnyacha. Iracht a raf ferigan an yehi a huinyo. No achinyi or a shinsher, edagui a yano or son namio. Nielas aguinyo gafirinyo. A heart for Sheikhid Blaine Ravamshir Christ, Jimmy Tashka Ward, the Ornaji August Adam Rana Krewisha, Mara Lugat and Talloway. Nilas Ogin, Kajemara Jiri in our Shinsha Rev Starola, Chakt Slan as an Trevsha Scan Rolshin. Ach Maran Buen Irokta Grohiokta, August Noliokta, Snahari Intocha, a dogshid in a nye. Tashke. Reorgan her. So here, Kabujel Ella, the scale sogging, Kahi may solace a ray nua, ish an iron, nor a jerry tishi huig yola in a rich quartacha. <laughs> <laughs> 